Hi everyone. Hello. We're live. We are live. Just trying to set the camera up correctly. I'm trying to get it working on my iPad here. Oh, there we go. I'm a little under the weather as you can hear. New yeah. York had it rough on me. On oh, both of us, it's been. It was... Well, Nick was sick before. He... Well, not, yeah. not just not feeling good. Yeah. It's not like we were sick, sick, but it just hit us hard. But life goes on, right? I'm trying to get all everything ready. There we go. I brought you guys on here. Hi, everyone. I see you all walking, saying hi. Happy Canada Day. Happy Canada Day, everybody. Yes, I don't have anyone here yet. Where is it? Why don't I ever see it? Oh, I always look at the wrong look, one. Look at the end. I always look at the wrong one. <laughs> we just hurt ourselves. Oh, happy Canada Day! Thanks, Brittany. <laughs> Hi, April. Hi, Sandy. Did you steal my pen? I did not steal your pen. It's possibly under the blankie somewhere. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There it is. On there. Where's mine now? <laughs> I lost my pen. Oh no, I found it. I found my pen. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Happy Canada Day, hey, Kathy welcome. from New York. Hi, hi, Kathy. Hi, Belinda. And Deb and Christine. <laughs> Happy Canada Day. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Jean Luc having tech issues. Thanks, Cindy. I appreciate that. We both are having tech issues. We're a little under the weather. You can hear it in our voice. Uh, yeah. Actually, this is the worst I felt all weekend because I was yeah. feeling pretty good all weekend. Except for I've been getting better. So. I think what killed me yesterday was the plane ride home and the delay because yeah. we were delayed a few, a uh, couple of hours yesterday, yeah. and the uh, landing really. Messed up on my my inner ear. We should turn on the fire. We should turn on the fireplace. Ah, it's okay for now. Yeah. No one sees the fireplace except for us. True, true. We should change that somehow. How? I don't know. <laughs> Put it behind us. <laughs> and no. I'm being funny. <laughs> no. <laughs> and I'm putting my foot down. <laughs> so yes, Happy Canada Day. We love Canada. We took a picture this afternoon in the backyard just to. We didn't go celebrate too much today because we're trying to get you know rested. I actually I woke up at two. This afternoon, right? I slept 12 hours. <coughs> yeah, he slept I, a long my time. Body, my body needed it. Uh, I you know, when I, you're away, even on a work thing, it's not always easy on no. your body. And, I was uh, tired, so I needed that 12 hours of sleep. We can, and we couldn't go to bed last time and go home. No. Um, we just, it wasn't possible. It was just, by the time when you get home so late too, and you've traveled all day, you're just, you need to yeah. un, uh, like unwind, because we were yeah. just wired. So. Yeah. so today's topic is how to get over the number on the scale. So we'll start talking a bit about this topic, and I will bounce back and forth between different things we want to talk about. Uh -huh. I'll probably go talk about our trip a bit too. We're wearing our red shirts today, yes, though, in honor of Canada Day. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so how to get over the number on the scale. So I guess we can kind of give you a history of our relationship with the scale. We used to be obsessed with the scale. I'll say that. Yeah. Um, the would, first couple of times we tried this, we were obsessed. scale obsessed. Uh, we would weigh ourselves before meetings, after uh -huh. meetings. Uh, every after day. the gym, after the gym, every morning, yeah. uh, we would waste those all the time. But we did find there was a pattern when we started doing that. Yes, we did. Which helped us kind of get used to seeing how our weight works. So the way it would always work for us is on, by the time Monday rolls along, our weight usually was at the highest of the entire week. And as yeah. slowly as the week progressed, our weight started getting lower until Friday. And then on weight, and by the time we weighed in on Saturday, we were usually back to... Yeah. Not always back, but, but close enough to closer our, to what we yeah. had originally weighed in yeah. the week before. And then the cycle will repeat. And I think that's because usually weekends is when we eat our weeklies. Um, yeah. And usually tend, we tend to have a few more zero point foods or like fruits and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. The thing is though, is that scale... So my number one suggestion that I would say as far as scale goes, don't get use, rid of it. Don't use it as your measurement. If, if that's something that you have in your house and you're always, always Obsessed, with, Obsessed it? with it, get rid of it. Yeah. Put lock it away or give it away. Don't get one. Even for a month. Uh -huh. It just starts cold turkey. Just it's almost it. like doing a detox from yeah. the scale. You have to detox from the scale. Yeah. So if you guys keep, um, <coughs> so yeah, so if you keep checking your, your weight all the time, maybe get rid of the scale for a bit. Um, use other things to try to help you get through um, your journey. So those non scale victories are very important. Um, People tend to forget those non-scale victories because what happens is that as you're, you progress through your journey, the first time you fit in a new size of pants, you're like, oh my god, look at me, I can fit in a new size of pants. But as each size comes coming, you still celebrate, but eventually you're going to stick to a certain well, size. Well, exactly. Eventually that size 32, like for me, is going to always be a size 32. Yeah. So once you get to that size, it's just like once you see that number on the scale, 
If you keep on depending on that scale, you're, it won't be your friend every week. Well, not only that, once you hit your goal, That's you're no you're no longer anymore. you're you're no longer feeling like you're achieving yeah. anything. So yet again, you're putting that negative thought on yeah. this journey. So we right? don't use the scale much. Uh, we uh, tend to just use the scale at Weight Watchers at the at yeah. WW. We have to, a good scale here that we do use from yes. time to time. Um, and but, but what? Like for example, when we came back from the trip yeah. yesterday, we both weighed ourselves. I weighed 170. And I was 177. Which is within our range. Like for me, my, my goal weight is 164, so I need to get to 166. I'm still where I've been for the last months. So that means I, all the indulgence we had, and we'll talk about New York in a bit. Yeah. We'll talk about that. That means I didn't gain anything so I'm not worried about the scale right now I just I'm just keeping going keeping active eating well I love what Kim just said there and what she had decided to do this time instead of just weighing weighing on the scale she decided to do her measurements once a month yeah that's a fantastic way to see success and then someone post on our group that too yeah there's a few people that do that, that actually that, no like, someone said that they were the same way they were last year where they realized that a, a piece of clothing they put on Actually, so fit much better. Looser, yeah, looser. So she measured herself. She realized she lost inches since last year, even though she's the same weight. So you have to think all of those considerations. <laughs> There's so many other ways of measuring your your, 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 success. your success. Like like Nick was saying, the size of the clothes that your clothes fitting better. Just because doesn't mean when you're in this journey, because you don't lose numbers on that scale, does not mean you're not losing inches. Yes. Does not mean your body is not reshaping itself. Your body can completely reshape itself by just doing different yeah. exercises. That's why it's always good to do before and afters. That's why we're very well, happy with the people starting to show these more often because you might not see differences, but other people will. And look at Andrea when she came over. Was that last week or two weeks ago? I two can't weeks ago. Two weeks ago when Andrea had come over. Um, she was on the show with us and she walked into the door and I said the first thing to her, I said, wow, you look so different. And she's like, I didn't, I happen the same, but she just looked toned. Yeah. Yeah. So always remember that too. Your body will change. Yeah, and like that's it. That's the thing. So those non scale victories. So you know we'll come back to non scale victories. I think it's a very important topic. So I'll write it down. How are you write it down? Give a room. Write down non scale victories. Yeah. We'll come back to talk about those. Why this is important. But I kind of want to come and jump back to a few things that are you know our trip. I kind of want to talk about New York trip now because I think a lot of people are wondering. People have been saying how they've been liking our pictures and. <coughs> Yes, uh, it's, people have asking, been asking on the, on the, um, on the chat if we're sick. We, I have been sick actually since last uh, Tuesday. I, went, I flew out to the conference for work and I was already not feeling well. I made it through the conference, I was taking medication, I slept pretty well those nights, but then when the weekend came along we started doing more stuff, so we're both still feeling a little rough. Um, we're, we're taking it easy we're not, this week. We're not feeling sick to the point where we can't function. It's just yeah. all in our heads right now. Yeah, it's mostly like congestion. And myself, is since we got off the plane, my ears plugged a little bit still, and I can't get rid of it, and I can't blow yeah. my nose. I want to blow my nose so, in my head. So, uh, so we went, to, so we, as, as most of you know, we went uh, last weekend. We were in Pride in Toronto. Um, we filmed the video we that did. we released today and, on our channel, and we want to. I want to talk about that video yeah, actually. That's why that, I was, you that, talk about it. Huh? That video actually was uh, a request from WW Canada. Um, Ali and Aaron asked us if we would send them a quick video about Pride. They actually invited us over to uh, headquarters last week. But I was. But I had to travel. Nick over. was away for work, and we weren't able to make it. So we had already thought about it. It's kind of funny. Think. Our brains all work together yeah. sometimes. We had thought, let's film a video for that and send it. And as we say it, Aaron and Ali ask us, do you guys mind sending us a quick little video? And we're like, we were already gonna do so it. So on Wednesday this week, they played it at their Pride event yes. at WWE Canada. So, so that's pretty awesome. Any of you guys watching this that were there and you saw it, say hi, yes. guys. And so we actually released the same video on our channel today so that you guys can go watch it. It's just a quick, quick five minute video showing some highlights from what we did at Pride and why Pride is important to us. And if a lot of people don't understand, and I'll kind of, I'll kind of just, uh, Kind of <coughs> often say why do, why do we need pride, and we talk about it in that video. But one of the things you have to understand: we both grew up bullied. We both grew up grew, grew up thinking that we were abnormal and that people hated us and people would hate us because of who we were. And it's and, true. Yeah, I, I think that too. But in my 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 whole thought process of what pride is, is straight people get to celebrate themselves every day without being looked often. without being looked at any different. I know what people are saying and we still have to hide sometimes who we actually and are. We actually do get it this weekend. We were on a cab. Yes, and the cab he said York. and we were talking about selling our house and moving because he was asking his questions and he's like, Oh, so you're moving into a two bedroom two bedroom apartment or condo. And we're like, yeah. He goes, Oh yeah, so one room each and I was like, you know what? 
and he kept being we kept very much like pressing the issue yes. like one room each and I'm just like, like not, I'm not gonna even get into it because it's just not worth it sometimes why cause a, an argument for we no traveled reason. before pretending we're brothers because we knew that if we were a couple we don't like and, doing and that so, and, and I'm sorry for a hard point but straight couples don't have to do that no. you don't ever you can't you go anywhere and that, that, and that doesn't only really have to be with the gay the being gay it's can you imagine being trans transgender yeah and you know having to always come out every single time to people saying okay you physically look like a man now you physically look like a woman now but your past your past girl. was either as a, a, a physically as a, a boy girl, as a child or as a girl as a child yeah can you imagine having to go through that so having one day out of the year Where we don't have to worry about that and just be ourselves yeah. and not have to really question anything and know that we're safe it just it's really important to us and I know back in the day, I remember a long time ago when I met my sister's watching here, my mom's watching, probably gonna watch at some point, but at one point I remember they, they kept saying, why do celebrities keep saying they're coming out and they're coming out? Like, we, I don't care. It's not, it's not that it's not a, it's not, I can understand why people don't care, but for someone who was as a child myself, if I would have been a six year old child, seven year old child, and an actor at that time would have come out of the closet and said, I'm gay, I would have like, oh my god, I'm not abnormal. And, and I think that's why it's important that different people to, be the, be who they are and tell people that you're an, a, a gay person because you don't know who's out there who's suffering and who can't who's and I do want to say one thing too yeah. I know we keep saying all these things but don't forget pride is not only for the LGBTQ it's for, it's for everyone there's also you allies out there that we it's love the allies that the allies there why do, w w w it was created first of all because of the Stonewall riots yeah where people were being prosecuted and put in jail they were basically being harassed and for being, being gay. harassed for being gay and right, so yeah it was the police and the mafia yeah yeah unfortunately yeah. but it's now become a celebration it's become uh a, we can't forget the past. past no we can't forget the past at all and it struggles but we yeah, we have to you know it's, it is a celebration and it's for everyone it's for straight white black Asian, Asian, religious, non-religious, non -religious. for everyone to just be happy yeah. and we all love each other. It's all about love. It's a day of love and yeah. honestly being in New York for Pride, as much as Toronto Pride is fun. We should but talk about New York, right? Yeah, New York was yeah. insane because yeah. it's not like a Toronto Pride where it's on one street that's... It was, in, it was, it was everywhere. everywhere. Like, yeah. I've never seen a city no. so full of proud Pride, Pride before. Yeah. Every Almost every single restaurant, almost every single yeah, street everywhere. sign. It was so in your face, but yeah. yet it felt so... It was just fun because yeah. we could be ourselves everywhere. And then we got to see people holding hands down the street, and you know, we don't always get to see that. And uh, that's a huge thing yeah. for us. So we'll start at the beginning of the trip. So I flew out early on Tuesday for work. Um, I went to an event, uh, a work conference for the entire week. Actually, I actually did meet up with um, Melanie, who is a leader in, uh, I think it's... <coughs> Hill. Yes. And uh, she uh, was down there for... <coughs> we actually went to see Pretty Woman together. We also went to the Times Square um, workshop, and we got to meet Robert. And uh, oh, oh, I six different. I was I was alone. Yeah. Um, we got to meet six different uh, members. So if any of you are watching, hi. Uh, and then on Friday, Jean Luc uh, joined me. I did, and it was kind of fun because on Friday I was lucky enough. Um, my my day wasn't very very busy at work, so I sent a message to my manager and I said, "Do you mind if I leave early today?" because I knew there was going to be some bad weather on Friday. And so I was like, if I could get into New York earlier, being that it was Pride weekend, we knew the airport was going yeah. to be atrocious. So I ended up getting to the airport at 11 o'clock. And I ended up getting on a 2.30 flight instead of a yeah. 5.30 flight, which made my day completely, completely, completely. Yeah. And then, uh, we, so we were together on Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday. Friday yep. night, we just walked around Times Square. We posted pictures on Instagram. So if you want to follow us on Instagram, it's wwgays underscore Nick. And I'm uh, WWGays underscore J Luke. So we post a little more. That's the place we post the most pictures. So if you want to see more of our travel pictures, that's the number one place. Or on Facebook, we post a lot of pictures there as well because those, those are the two places that are the easiest to post on. Um, so from there on, your so, mom says she's watching. I saw right? that. Yeah. So uh, other than that, we then started to do. Uh, so Saturday morning, we woke up. We yep. actually started, decided to go to another meeting. Yeah, we went to another. We went to the Rockefeller Center, and Barbara and Melissa. Barbara was the coach, and yeah. Melissa was the um, the guide. Yeah, and uh, or, it was a great meeting. Yeah, it was fantastic. It was, it was just a different. It's very unique. Barbara yeah. was very cool. I like the fact we walked in a little late because we walked the wrong direction the first time. So we ended up walking in right where they had already started the meeting. So when we walked in, we sat down, and Barbara was sitting down with everybody. Yeah, it was one of the conversations, and I felt the same way at the Wednesday meeting. Yeah, it was very cool. 
Um, and we didn't present or anything like that, but we, you know us, we always throw in our two cents. So by us throwing in our two cents, then it came out that we had lost all the weight, and they were all pretty in awe. I know I did our pictures. I noticed one lady cried a little bit. Yeah, we got to tell them our story. So if any of you are watching, hi <coughs> to you. Hello. Um, and a lot of people uh, have been asking us on the internet because we did the. So Minnie Grossman, the CEO of Weight Watchers International, actually uh, reached out to us a few weeks ago saying, "Oh, she would love to meet us." And so on last week when she found out we were coming to, thanks to Paula. Yep, thanks Paula. Paula from Stoville. So thanks to her, um, Mindy reached out to us about meeting us on Saturday morning at 9 a.m. for breakfast. And we had it all scheduled out, everything was set up, but um, she got some... Family. You don't want to give details no. about what she just had to deal with something. Family emergency that yeah. she needed to take care of. And so she said she, you know, she, has to can she had to cancel, she felt horrible. And if you're watching this, Mindy, I know, I know some mentioned she does, I've heard she does watch us. We are completely, completely understand. understand. Like we said no, in our email, yeah. family comes first. Um, we will find a way to meet you another time. But if so, you ever want us to come back, to yeah, York, we, we won't say no. We love, we'd love, we'd love to. Love to. <coughs> so you know, it's 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 great that you know it, she still wanted to meet us, and just the fact that she did want to Paula meet us. Paula says you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so it, someday it might happen. Um, so then from there we. Uh, after we did the meet workshop, we did a tour bus. With well, we actually had brunch. We went and had brunch. brunch at this little diner, the Galaxy, Galaxy Diner. Diner. Yeah. Then we went to do the then bus we, well, to do tour. Our hotel actually gave us passes to do a free cruise. Like, yeah. it, it, because we booked through a third party, yeah, something like that. they gave us, up, they, we had a few little perks. Yeah. So we went and got the tickets, but as we were walking down the street, a guy was selling uh, one of those double-decker tour bus. Yeah. And he gave us a good deal. He was giving us a four-day package for the price of a two, two, two for a one-day one day package. package. And so we got it, and we got tickets to the bus <coughs> down all of uh, downtown uh, Manhattan. So we got to see, you know, uh, we got to see Times Square, Times Times Square Rockefeller, Rockefeller Center, Center uh, um, the Empire Square, State Building, the, the Flatiron Iron Building, Flat Iron Building. We took pictures of everything. Yeah, and then we got to off, and we could come on and off this bus as you please. And, and came, every 15 minutes there was a new bus. Yeah, and then we came, we, we got off the bus at ta uh, the, you know, the World Trade Center. Yes. And we got to see And it's so funny, guys. Memorial. One of the things that I want to say, too, is I never thought about this, but I was calling it um, Ground Zero still. And it's no longer considered Ground Zero, actually, because it's no longer, um, that's no longer the, it's, it's no longer what it used to be. It's a memorial now. It's now a memorial. They do have a specific name for it, I get I wanted to say it was the um, uh, the sky the empty sky memorial from what I remember, but I don't 100 percent remember unfortunately. But the memorial was it was I cried. We so did I. Cried. Yeah, we both cried. We, we, and we filmed the entire trip we did to New York has been filmed, and it will be our video next Saturday of our entire New York trips. So you'll see the foods we ate. You'll see. I talk uh, I talk about it a little bit in the video, but I won't talk about we'll, it. We show yeah. you guys about the memorial. We show you guys where we went. Our uh, everything we did. Everything we released on. Uh, Instagram, all the pictures videos, we actually have videos to go along with that. So we'll use the entire <coughs> trip next Saturday. Um, somebody just asked, actually, as we're still talking about New York, uh, do we have any food temptations in New York? To be honest, we we, we, we planned on indulging this weekend. Oh, yeah. it, was, it was planned out. We knew that uh, we were in New York, so we're not there all the time. So no. we might as well try to be... And we were still good, though. But we also knew we were going to be very active, where we were going to be walking and moving a lot. Yeah. A we lot. Were, but we were also very, like, our, our food choices were still better than they used to be. We never make bad, we, we make bad choices, but we always make the smarter of the bad choices. And yeah. since we've been home, we've been back to our healthy foods. Yeah, completely back. Yeah. So it's like, we, we know what, we know how to balance it. And you'll see on the video all the food we ate, so you wanna, we'll talk about it now because it'll be on this weekend. No, but it's funny though, you, you, we talk about, like, that whole question again, the food temptation. We wanted, do you remember, we walked by a, 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 we walked by a dessert place and it had cupcakes and all sorts of pastries and we were like, okay, we'll buy one and we'll split it. We never, we never ended up buy buying it. it. Yeah. And then even dinner we had on su on Saturday, we went to the pizza place. And then we wanted a pizzeria. Yeah. We ordered one small pizza for, with six slices. But it was a big pizza. And we ate only two of those slices. Yep, one slice each. We ordered a uh, spinach ravioli, which had eight. We ate only four, four. of them. And then we bought uh, these like, <coughs> cheese knots. Cheese that garlic knots. And yep. we only ate four of them. So we, the rest of it we brought back, and we didn't even eat it that night. We were supposed to have it as a late night snack. We thought we'd be smart and split into two like meals. We never ended up eating it. And, no. we, and we also drank this weekend. And so. not only that, we said we were going to have dessert that night and we never ended up having yeah. dessert. And so it's so funny how we plan all these things and we're going to be indulgent and we're going to do and this. Still but do we it. do indulge, but with limitations. Yeah, we still had our one but, Starbucks. Yeah, we had one Starbucks. We met a drag queen when we had Starbucks, yes, so that was fun. Yes, yes. So, um, okay, so after they did the, 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 
Times Square, uh, not Times the Memorial. Square Memorial. We went on a boat cruise. Yeah, and we kind of got there just in time. It was yeah. kind of lucky. As soon as yeah. we got there, the one cruise was leaving, and it was two thirty, yeah. and it was a two hour cruise around the uh, around uh, New York, which and, was great. And then that night, we ended up going to. Um, I was there with the pizzeria. Yeah. But then we went out to Stonewall where we got to meet some new friends. Oh my goodness, Jade. Jade and, and, uh, oh, why can't I think of his name right now? We just, Don, is it, we just friended him on just Facebook. Just friended him on Facebook. Yeah, Jade and her, uh, we don't remember everybody's names right now because we were quite intoxicated that night. We won't lie. We were, we drank quite a bit. Um, it's not something we do often anymore, so that when we drink alcohol, we, we didn't drink a lot. It's just that we don't drink often anymore, so it, it affects us a lot stronger. Um, but, uh, we met some new friends. We've met Josh. Jash. Jash. Yeah. I was like, I was like, I knew I'd remember his name. Yeah. And, Jade and Jash. also, oh my god, the two British British mother daughter duo. Oh my goodness, I can't think of their names. I can't either. think of names right now. I have we have it on Facebook. But yeah. we met an, a, 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 a mother and a daughter, and yeah. it was great because she was there with her daughter, yeah. and uh, it was so much fun. We yeah. had a great and time. Sunday morning, we went to bike ride um, in Central Park. Yeah. We went to bike ride in Central Park. So we still did active stuff. See, that's the difference. We were doing nothing before. Now we're active all the time. And then we went to the airport, we met someone oh. at, in line for an hour and a half at the Air Canada. Yes, Canada. Meredith. Yeah, Meredith. We just talked for like an hour and a half. Talk, 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 talk. And it was so funny because it's, it's as if we knew her forever. Yeah. And she was so much fun to talk to. She was great. It was like we were in line for so long, but we didn't really feel It didn't like, even feel like we were in line. Yeah, because wow. it was so funny because that line took forever too. Oh my God. Especially at the beginning. Pearson Airport is amazing. Amazing. If anybody ever complains about how long it takes the Pearson, oh my God, please. LaGuardia was... was was ten was, times worse. Yeah, and oh I, my god! It, and it was really funny. The the check in point at Laguardia seemed very old, like yes. very old fashioned, like yes. old airport. You walked into the airport; the airport was gorgeous. Yeah, but the part where you think people you want to get people in and out quicker, Literally, it was so it slow. was very like, slow. At, at Pearson Airport when we walked in on our way in, on when I walked on our way in, it's basically you go to the kiosk, you print out your your, your luggage tag, and you drop it off at a thing, and Done. you do it yourself. Yeah, you don't line up there. there. There's no yeah. there's no lineup it's anymore. So much easier. Yeah. One thing I wanted to talk to, say something real quick, was Andrea uh, mentioned about her and her wife when they go anyway, anywhere. They can't pretend that they're sisters because, well, Andrea's white and uh, Nicole, Nicole isn't. <laughs> so uh, that's true. So they have to pretend they're friends. So can you imagine having to pretend? With your spouse and pretending yeah. you have to be friends. And you have to be or friends. Or brothers or relatives. It's, yeah. Yeah. But you know what? We do it for our safety. So we completely yeah. understand yeah, why we do, we, we do it for safety. Yeah. Um, so and then so at the airport we forgot to say we met uh, one of our fans from Dallas. Oh my goodness, Texas. yes! And it was so funny because we're sitting at a, we're sitting down and we're just chit chatting, and all of a sudden this lady comes up and stands in front of us, and she looks at me. She goes, "I can't believe I actually met famous people in New York." And we're like, "We're like we're not famous, famous. we're not famous, but it we're, was very cute." Yeah, we always says just like, "You're celebrity." It was Lori, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, Lori. right? Lori. We, we always use this lo celebrities because we we. Our lives have not really changed much. We do this on the side, and then we go to work every day. So we don't feel like we're <coughs> celebrities. So, and another thing I want to say, if you guys ever see you guys out there, if please, you please, 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 see us, just interrupt us. If we're talking, just come up to us and oh, yeah. say hi anyways. We'll just, talk your we, ear off. Yeah, we love, we love meeting people, so just say hi. Mm -hmm, please do. Um, someone did say, I think it was Leslie M. said her hubby, her and her daughter, wore a mom and dad like hug t-shirts at pride this year which mm -hmm. is awesome we saw a bunch of people a bunch of moms do that when we yeah. were at pride in toronto yeah there was a, some in, in new york as well and that means a lot to the community you don't seem to realize too is a lot of the lgbtq2 plus community and uh, members of this community get shunned by their families yeah and they don't have families yeah. so pride is another place where they feel themselves and amongst safe. family yeah. Amongst family. So let's go back to non-scale victories yes. for a bit. Because I think we finished New York, we talked about the airport, and then we sure. came home. So um, non-scale victories. So back to the topic of the day about how to get over the number on the scale. So non-scale victories. So a lot of people always ask us, what's NSV? What's non-scale victory? Those are those small things that you realize that you can do now, that you couldn't do before, that are not relative to the scale, but still improve your overall mm -hmm. mental state about your journey. Example for me, one of my biggest ones, which one is it, hon? Do you remember the one? Uh, putting your socks on? No, no. Oh, no, the car. Yes, yeah, the, the car. car. So Jean-Luc uh, has a Toyota Highlander, and it has a programmable <coughs> uh, one and two button that you can click to switch the seat. So 
because Jean-Luc Jean is taller than me, but he has a shorter torso, he needs more leg room. And then when I get in the car, I need to lower the seat because my head hits the ceiling because I have a higher torso and my legs are short, so I have to be brought in. Mm -hmm. So with this car, it saves our settings. So whenever I would get in the car, when I was bigger, I would get in the car after him, I would press the button. It would first squeeze me into the steering wheel, and I was so big that it would really squeeze me. Like it would, I would feel the steering wheel in my, in my, in my body, and then reverse back. Since I've lost the weight, I no longer have that happen to me. I have plenty of room between myself and the steering wheel. And every time I click that button in the car, I remember that moment when I, that happened. And I, remember, and I remember how much I used to hate being that person who always got hit by that steering wheel. And there's tons of them. And we noted them down. And that's what the problem yeah. is, people. Write them down. Write Put them, them down. on your fridge. Or make a video. Yes. Make a video. Make a, remember, an ongoing video, because I think it would be great. Yeah, remember the those lost Take a victories. picture. Yeah. What's your big? What's your, what's your biggest? Um, my biggest non-scale victory is probably being able to walk lengthy periods of time now. I can walk without even complaining all about day. my foot hurts. We walked all day on Saturday. Yeah. And, and did I complain shows? ever? Nope. nope. Back in the day, it would have been two hours. Oh my god, minutes. two! It would have probably been twenty minutes. I'd be like, I'm done. Yeah. And, and now I can. And we're foot flop. Yeah. Yeah, I can just, I can walk. Like, that is the biggest non-scale victory, yeah. and even to this day. Because yeah. I can't lie, my, my plantar fasciitis still hurts me. Oh, yeah. It still hurts, but never to the extent that it did back then. Yeah. Never, never, never. Yeah. And that's the thing. You've got to remember those non-scale victories. Um, we have, I have tons more. Being able to fit in smaller pants. Yep. Uh, the fact that I can actually put <coughs> shoes and socks on now, standing up straight without having to sit down because I had to sit down before. Climbing a flight of stairs without getting winded. Yeah. Um, yeah. Rock, jogging. Yeah, jogging. Being able to carry 45 pounds worth of luggage exactly. in both arms and not feel yeah. like I'm going to die. Yeah. There's so many non-scale victories that we have, and we remember them all. Every time we do something, we remember, oh, I remember when that happened, and we point them out to each other. Yeah. We actually verbally say, do you remember when that, remember when this, or remember when that? So say them out loud. If you are doing this with your spouse, remind them of it. If you see your wife or your, your husband do something, do you remember when you can do that? Point it out, because you, you need to remember these things, because it'll keep your journey going. Remember, this journey is all about positivity. If you don't have positive reinforcement, you will not want to keep going. So I want to interrupt real quick about yeah. this because Cindy just asked a real quick question about um, she's having surgery on the 11th of July and she's getting nervous about gaining any tips. Although my doctor is very happy, um, is happy of my weight now for the success of the surgery. Well, that's a that's a really good question. You know what? You you are having surgery, so you really have to take if care. If you guys of want to ask more questions about the scale stuff, yeah. just start asking. We'll start asking answering yeah. questions now. Um, so I, I would want to say, Cindy, you know what? I think you're better off. Your best bet is talking to your doctor about your fear and seeing where your limitations are after surgery, because you don't want to you you want to make sure you you're healed before you start doing any type of strenuous activity whatsoever. And then again, you can control all of this with food intake. Yeah. Eat a lot of zero point foods yeah. and you can, you yeah. know? Um, if you make smart choices. If, and even though you might be, I don't know exactly what kind of surgery, I'm not gonna ask which kind, but if that surgery still allows you to be able to be mobile, maybe do some lighter walking around. If you can't be mobile, if you can maybe use your arms, try to do stuff with your arms instead. Just, you know, to keep yourself at least as, at the minimal you can do. Don't, just don't strain yourself because you definitely don't want to hurt yourself. But you know, do the best you can do with what you can do. And remember, you're you're recovering from surgery. You you won't be recovering from surgery every day for the rest exactly. of your life. Exactly. This is a small portion of your time yeah. and your journey. So even if something happens and you do gain a bit, don't despair. At one point, you will start being able to get back on track fully and be able to lose and lose that that, that weight. Afterwards. And you don't want to rush your sur your your healing process because then you can completely make yourself worse. Yeah. And then you might even end up going down a bigger hole yeah. in that sense. Yeah. So, so take the time you to need heal. to heal. Like right now, for example, right now, we're both sick, right? We're not going to the gym tomorrow morning. We can't. And we'll not go back until we're fully Until I'm fully healed. And, it, and I know it's it's horrible. We should be going to the gym, but we're still maintaining our weight. Yep. We're still being active enough that we're able to keep our weights at the are. Our bodies are telling us something. They're saying, you guys need to rest. And so we're going to rest for the next few days. We're not going to go to the gym. Do I miss it? Oh, hell yeah. I miss doing body attack. I miss my stairs. I miss my doing my... Play oh, I challenge. miss it all. I went to the gym in three days last week. I was at the gym Wednesday. I, I promised myself because Nick was gone. He yeah. was on a conference, a harder to and do. And he was sick. And he was sick. I, I was feeling good last week until I met up with him. Yeah. He got me sick. What's new? So um, someone was saying... He explains me. Um, this is YHM Beetle, Beetle fan. Oh, YHM Beetle fan says she's going on a cruise and she's going to be wearing a bikini for the first time in like 20 years. 
So that's a p amazing non-scale victory. Yeah. So yeah, those are things you have to remember. You know what I mean? Um, Andrea was saying that uh, not snoring, she's not snoring, and then her wedding ring not fitting. Yeah. Well, this is actually Jean Luc's wedding ring. So. Back in the day, when I was, I was bigger, my pants were so big that I hated wearing rings. When we got married, he got a wedding ring, I didn't. We got, both got tattoos, and I was like, that's fine with me, I don't want a ring. When he started losing weight, this ring was so big on him, he tried it on. It was so big on him that he, it's, it Still basically is. slips off it him. Just, if, I, if, I, if I move my hand, if, especially if I'm signing, because you all know what I do for a living, it'll fly off. Yeah. So, so I what can't happens is that my finger, these, this ring did not fit any <coughs> of my fingers before when I was bigger. So now it actually fits my, my pinky and my index finger. So because of that, I actually started wearing it now. So there's another non-scale victory right there. Mm -hmm. Like it's another victory that we can't, we were always reminded every day because of this ring. Um, Patricia Monroe just asked, um, how often do you weigh yourself? Um, so Patricia, we actually used to weigh ourselves all the time. Yep. Like back when we were on journey at the beginning, we were weighing ourselves all the time. We'll be honest, almost daily, sometimes twice a day, morning and after, yeah. after, after, after a gym, after, after, after a workout work. or after yeah. work just to see. And all we did for us is we didn't get discouraged by a number because we kind of took it as an average. We yep. kind of could see our pattern and we used it as a pattern to figure out where we were that week. Again, your scale to some of you is going to be your worst enemy, but to some of you, it might be your friend. So you need to create that relationship with the scale that you want. No one can t dictate what you're going to do with that scale. Yeah. If you feel comfortable and you're able to be um, if it, if it makes smart. You feel, if it makes you feel bad, if you go on the scale and you see a number and it makes you feel horrible, then don't eating. do it. Don't do it. It's like eating something that makes you feel bad. Why do you do it? Or doing an activity that you hate Anything doing. that makes you feel horrible on your journey is going to make it harder for you to continue. So the fact that if you are on this journey and you keep sticking the scale, every time you see it and on a Monday, you're hired and you're... If any day of the week you, you check in your hiring makes you, it hurts your overall journey, then don't do it. Wait till you weigh in at WW and then keep trying to use that one scale to, and then remember those non-scale victories. You gotta remember those non-scale victories. Uh, Nowadays, we don't weigh ourselves often. I, I also want to congratulate Danielle. Danielle said that her doctor, her non-scale victory was her doctor put lower her blood pressure medication. Oh, okay, okay. Awesome. Okay. Congratulations on that. That's a fantastic non-scale victory right there. Yeah. And Andrea was also telling Cindy about, you know, paying attention to the nurses. You're going to be, when you're having, a sur when you're having surgery done, you're going to have medical professionals there to you guide what, you. Yeah, tell you what to Follow do. what they say, yeah. like she says, but make sure you're following your body as well. Because yeah. you don't want to overdo anything, right? Yeah, so I just want to uh, bring a shout out to our Facebook group. So for those of you who don't know, this topic was picked by our Facebook group. So um, every every week or so, I release uh, a poll asking everyone to pick their next topic. And so two weeks ago, this topic was picked. Our Facebook group is called WDA's Fans, Friends, and uh, <coughs> Family. So if you look up for it on Facebook, you should find and try to join. And it's all about positivity. Everybody shares their journeys on there, and we, we comment on people's journeys. It's kind of like Connect, actually. People have said it's almost like Connect. Yeah. Because we make sure that it's all positive. If anybody comes on there and get negative, we just remove them from the group. We, we, it's all about positivity. Everybody can share as, as they will there. Um, so on there, we actually posted another poll last week. And so next week's topic will be following program on a budget. So following the WW program or any health wellness program, eat, uh, well, like being healthy. Yeah, on just a being budget. healthy on a budget. Yeah. There's, so, there's multiple ways of doing that. There's so many ways of doing that. So Hopefully we can give you some tips. So we all know this Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And you're welcome, Patricia. We're glad we were able to answer that question for you. Yeah. And uh, just another also contest reminder. So our true local contest that we have on Facebook is closed. Yes. We have the names listed. We just have to, this week, we will be printing out the names and actually folding them individually, yep. putting a little hat. And we're picking them. And next Sunday, we'll, this Sunday, we will pick a winner. So yes. look out for that. The contest is still going on on Instagram and, and on Twitter. Yes. So if you guys want to keep entering. And we, we, there's a lot of space on Instagram and Twitter still. Yeah. Well, Instagram is getting closer and closer. Well, you know? not for you, but not for me. Yeah, right. You have to get I'm closer. a little further. So, so you know, we'll, let's keep those contests going. We also have our monthly contest. We have our winners from May and June. We still have to call. We have to pick a winner for July, but we're still doing it. It just repeats here right now, but we'll get to those. Uh, and I, I, sorry to say, guys, we're always busy. It's, yeah. it's, it's not like th we think we think slow down, but then things come up. I think the yeah. next couple of weeks we're home, though. Which is <coughs> yeah. Like we need to be home and I'm glad we're home because we leave on our cruise soon. Yeah. And I don't want to sound or feel like this when we go no. on a cruise. No. I want to feel good and I want to feel like um, up and ready to go. Okay, so if there's any questions about non-scale victories or anything about our journey having to do with the scale or just, you know, how to get over the scale, Please uh, list them and we'll answer them below. Uh, so, uh, I also, actually I might as well just give our, so this week's videos, we're actually releasing videos again this week. Yay! Yay! 
We actually had to <coughs> film some today, actually, because we were like, we need to film something because it's been too long. It's been way too long. So uh, tomorrow we'll be releasing a favorite things on Laughing Cow, which we love. Mm -hmm. On Wednesday, there'll be a, a recipe for bean salad. Uh, on Thursday, we will have a favorite things on pillars, uh, turkey, turkey pepperettes. And then on next Saturday, like I've already said, we'll have a trip to New York. And then this Sunday, it's going to be following Program on the Budget, our live show. Mm -hmm. so, and something else that's coming up really soon that we forgot to mention is our one-year anniversary. Is yes, up. our one-year anniversary. Our one-year of our channel, of the WW Gays. Very first episode is was in July. I need to find the date. Yeah. I need to find the date. Yeah, it, was, to. it was last it's year. I'm going to look at yeah. it right now as we look at, as we speak. Let, make it live. Because I know exactly where we were last year. We were in Niagara Falls. Uh, Patricia, we are going on the WW cruise at the end of the month. So on July eighteenth, we will be, uh, we will be heading out on the cruise on that at that at that time, and uh, we're hoping to be healthier by then. But we're, for the next few weeks, we're actually home, so I think we'll be okay. Uh, did you find? No, it's not telling me. No, what are you looking there for? If that was my calendar. Oh, I was thinking, no, go on face on YouTube and go look at the video. Oh, I could do that. Like, That's even a better yeah, idea. I was like, why? He's so smart. I try to be sometimes. Mm. Um, and another thing that we're kind of like off topic too that we want to kind of be, we want to talk about, uh, we uh, found out that there's going to be a Drag Race Canada. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Yeah. Uh, there's going to be a Drag Race Canada yes. coming. Yes, Crave and TV and, and Out TV. Out TV are like... Crave, that's the not Crave TV anymore. They're Crave. Oh, just Crave. Sorry, but Crave, Crave and, Out TV. and Out TV are actually working together yeah. in creating this show, which is super exciting because you guys all know how much we love drag queens. <laughs> Danielle Weatherall, I know you guys don't drink a lot, but you should do favorite things on point friendly alcohol. We don't we, have. We have. We do have a video on. It's called. If you look on our YouTube channel, there's one called Happy Hour. Uh, we do talk about drinking tips on that video, and then what tips we tend to use when we do drinking. Uh, my mom just said, my God, Danielle, check the YouTube for the date. <laughs> I'm looking right now. It would be at the top. It didn't say the date, though. Oh, we'll look on the YouTube app, not oh. that one. Oh, I'm on the wrong yeah. one. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so the, in, in terms of drinking, we do have a video on that. It's called Happy Hour. Uh, if you look it up on our YouTube channel, you should be able to find it. That's the same tips we have today. We don't actually, we don't change much. No, because, well, there are a lot of options out there for drinks. So maybe yeah. we should do one in the LCBO. Maybe we should do that. Let's go to the LCBO and look at all the different, like, 90% of like, the coolers yeah, and stuff like that. that. It's, a, it's an idea. Yeah. I lost my train of thought. You're looking for the uh, date of the I video. brag about you guys all the time. Oh, thanks, Cindy. I am still looking, but I have to scroll through a lot of videos to find it. So we talk way too much. Our videos, we have too many videos out there. So while he's looking that up, um, <laughs> so yeah, so I think that's, in terms of the topic for this week, that's pretty much it. It's not know. letting me go any lower. Oh, there's just too many videos. I don't remember what the dates. It was July something, I know that. Uh, I'm going to do a search. You're so quiet, huh? You're never quiet. Well, that's because I'm reading what people are saying. Oh. <laughs> So Kim Link said, me too, Cindy. My husband is confused and thinks I know them personally. I tried to explain by giving up and it's... Thanks, Cynthia. July 14th. July 14th. July 14th. Yeah, oh, yeah, your sister. So on th in 13 days, in 13 days, we're going to be... That's kind of cool that we, it, almost a year to the date of our show starting, we're going to be on a cruise. Yeah, yeah. Like, how cool is that? That's, That's pretty insane. cool. That's yeah. insane. Never thought we are, when we started that a year ago, where we would be today, to be honest. And we have to thank all of you for being so supportive and loving and caring and loving these two crazy gay guys that love we didn't chatting. Think, we didn't think when we filmed that first video that we would be at this point a year later. Like, we did not set up for this to happen, so it's still, it's still kind of crazy for us. So before we head out, because I think we're going to end a little earlier today, we are tired and we, we want to go to bed early. Um, there is one question that was asked by Sandra. Sandra asked, uh, she's lost 70 pounds so far, which is amazing. Woo! And she has 60 more pounds to go. So how do you keep going when you're past the halfway mark? You can't think of it as keep going. So remember, you're trying to change your life forever. Yeah. So if, if you're already changing your life to the point where it's... Feeling... I'm going to give you a challenge now. I want to try this. I don't want you to forget that you've lost the 73 pounds. Or 75, 70 pounds, right? Yeah. But now start new, start from fresh. As if, you know, 
keep that 70, that's your new non-scale victory is that you lost 70 pounds and now this new 60 pounds that you're gonna lose is your new, your new treachery where you have to like almost make it feel as if you were starting from the first time you started the program again. So that way you can feel those successes all over again. That could be a good way of doing it too. Yeah. To make yourself, keep yourself motivated. But the things you have to remember is like, we all, we still live the same, even though Jean-Luc has been lifetime for months now and I'm still trying to get the goal, we're not giving up our new habits. You gotta make sure that you think these habits and have these habits so you can keep going. Our rules yeah. are our rules and yeah. that's the thing. Like we really live and live the, by these the rules. rules our Starbucks created. rules, our no new shows unless we're on a, a machine rule, our yeah. um, one jar of peanut butter per a month, month rule. rule. My God, we could buy another one and it's, it's July, <coughs> I can have a poutine. Yep. Yes. I have a one poutine per month rule. Uh, that's so funny. Oh, someone says, I remember last year, New Year's Eve, there's only 15 people live. Look at you now. And how many are we? How many are we? We were at 75 at one Wow, that's so awesome. For Canada yeah. Day, I was, I'm very pleased with yeah, that. Because we weren't expecting any people to watch today. And I love Rene. Rene Lerou just said, um, since you guys are coming back from trip sick now twice, I think you should give me your tip. She wants I think us just, to I think we just stretch ourselves. Like we want to be aware, awake as long as possible to live, do as much as possible. And so, and we're so busy that we end up just like, my body needs sleep. I need, that's why last night I slept 12 hours because I know I need it. And tonight I'm going to go to bed early enough that I'm not going to, yeah. and I need to have my sleep right now. And that's what I'll be doing. But I think we're good for tonight. And hun. I think we'll probably end it here. Yeah, I think so too. And thank you so much, Cindy. I thank you, everybody. Honestly, you guys are the best. You guys really make our day. We look forward to these live shows. We look forward to all the questions you send us. All yeah. the, you know, I love everyone's posts. Yeah, it's amazing to see the posts that people are posting on Facebook, the comments you guys leave us for on our trips. Yeah, um, it really, really goes to show what loving and caring and sharing can actually do. Yeah. So if you guys like our channel, remember to subscribe and hit the subscribe button below. You can also find us on all social media. Yes. Using hashtag WWGames. And check out our website. WWGames.com. Yep. And uh, we will see you all uh, this week with new videos. And you're welcome, Beverly. I'm glad you like the advice about starting new when you have a whole new threshold of weight to lose. So, so we will welcome. see you all uh, in the next uh, next week on, next, uh, on Sunday. And uh, we will also... Uh, See all you, well, you guys will see us in all our videos this week. So, bye everybody. Bye everybody. Have a good night. Have a good night.